All right, I seen um, I seen a video of a LS engine build and a dyno test, and it's a perfect example of how to lose about a hundred horsepower with the wrong camshaft. And uh, there's several examples, but we're just going to do one right now, just just this one. But depending on you know if you're interested, I may do a couple of more of these examples. But uh, before we just get all into the technical stuff, let's watch the clip and we're going to see the cam specs, where they installed it, and then we're going to see a, um, a dyno run, <clears throat> the final dyno run after they're done tuning it and the, the power that it made. And keep in mind, this thing is a 427 stroker LS with 280cc uh, CNC ported trick flow cylinder heads. So just keep that in mind. So, so hang loose, watch this clip, and I'll be back. For this build, we are trying out one of Summit Racing's big gun hydraulic roller LS camshafts. It has durations at 50 thousandths lift of 242 on the intake and 251 on the exhaust with a 116 degree lobe separation angle for that creamy smooth idle. Lift at the valve is 626 thousandths on the intake and 604 thousandths on the exhaust. To measure the camshaft's position relative to the crankshaft, we'll set up our degree wheel and check the intake lobe center line before setting it right where we want, 105.75 degrees, which is 10 and a quarter degrees advanced for this mild street application. talking we are at 541 horse pressures and, and uh, 514.7 pound feet at the same peaks too all right let's try to run through this right quick it's late i don't want to get this done um so <clears throat> as you could see we got a 427 with Super nice heads and open plane intake and big souped up EFI, and we made 500 and change. And all of that was done at 6,100 RPM. This is the problem that I think <clears throat> is hard to grasp for a lot of people. When, when you have a low RPM expectation, and you have a low compression, stuff gets more and more important because you just, I mean, if you've got a really good cylinder head. So I looked it up, that cylinder head at like six, I think I figured it at like 625 or 650, it's flowing like, or, or no, at 600, it flows 373. So we're going to lift the valve to 640. So it's probably, I don't know, six, I mean, uh, you know, probably close to 380, probably, uh, give or take. But, you know, you can round it off 375 or whatever. So with, with the RPM requirement, so, so we only, so if we peak at 6,000, it'll carry for another, if there's enough cylinder head, it'll carry for another two or 300 RPM pretty easy. Some will carry more than that. It just depends on, you know, the induction system. But so, so we, we only want to turn 6,000, right? And we got 427 inches, but the supply is, we're just going to call it 375 CFM is the supply for this demand. So, with a little bit of calculating and some precision guesswork, uh, I come to the conclusion that we can do this job with 215 degrees of duration on the intake side. 
the cam they chose has 200, 242 degrees of duration. Now, wh why in the world you would even make a cam for a LS that looks like the cam they chose is bewildering to me. I, I just, I don't even know where there's an application that you would use that camshaft. There may be one, I just don't know what it would be. So the problem, are, are multiple problems, but the problem is, and it's, it's almost always this problem, this number and this number, but mainly this number. So when you have low compression and you have a relatively low RPM, this number right here better not be early because if this number's early, it is gonna crap the bed immediately and there is no recovering. It ain't gonna happen because what happens when you open the exhaust valve that far you know, I mean, you're in the power stroke, right? And you're way up here, you know, 72 and a half degrees before bottom dead center. It's still doing work. The piston is still doing work. And you open the, 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 the release valve for the pressure 72 and a half degrees before down here, I mean, they started to pull at 2,500, 2,000, 2,500, and they're going to 6,000. So if you want something that's gonna make torque way down here, like in the middle of the, of the, of the curve, this right here is just, it just lets all the air out. It's just all the air's gone, all the torque's gone. And you can just compare that engine to thousands of other engines that's been dynoed that are similar packages. And you'll notice that it is way down on power. I mean, I said 100 horsepower. It, you could easily, with the right camshaft, I'll guarantee you we could probably put 150 horsepower in that motor without too much trouble. Uh, and probably bring the averages up. I bet we could bring the averages up 100 without breaking a sweat but <clears throat> so and, and this guy you know and you, you heard him talk about uh, smooth creamy idle so it's got 14 and a half degrees of overlap which is not like massive but that's still a good bit of overlap especially considering just the horrible specs of the cam you don't need 14 and a half degrees of overlap especially in that situation, it just, it just, you just don't need it. And the only reason it's got 14 and a half degrees overlap is because duration is just entirely too big for what they're trying to do. And on top of that, it's got this just massively wide LSA, which is the dumbest thing on the planet for a low RPM, low compression engine. I mean, if, if you have, if you want to do low RPM and low compression, then you need to trap as much cylinder pressure as humanly possible. And this number does that, and this number keeps it in. So if you got this one way late and this one way early, I mean, I, don't, I, mean, I just don't even know how, how they math that up. I mean, I don't, anyway. So I done some calculating and I would, venture to say, and I'd probably put some greenbacks on it, that this choice here, so this is what I concluded would do the job that they're doing now, but much better. This, these events will go to 6,000, and I'll guarantee you that it'll make more power than it's making now with 15, what is that, 20, 25 or 26 degrees less duration. And uh, six, eight, eight and change less overlap, right? It's gonna be 
twice as responsive. The curve is going to be much nicer. The averages will be up, and it's a little bit of baby cam, super little baby cam. And it'll do everything they're doing with this big old monster nonsensical mess that they got in there. And, and, and this is the kind of stuff I see all the time. You know, I spec cams for people, and they come back, man, that cam's awful small. Or they'll say, man, that cam's big. And I'm like, yeah, you, you're down 20% on cylinder head. I mean, I can't, you know, we can't get to the, you want, you want this target RPM. Well, we can't get there unless we put some more cam in it because you bought the wrong cylinder head. But this engine has plenty of cylinder head. So it is like, I mean, literally it's the golden child. I mean, it's, it's good inches. It's not crazy compression, and it's got a super good cylinder head, so you could put a really mild camshaft in it and do a, a fantastic job. It'll just, you know, when you when you go over and beat up on people with a with a 215 degree intake duration camshaft, that's like, <laughs> you know, that's bragging rights there to me, you know. But I'm just saying it don't take with the right stuff. It just don't take a lot of camshaft. And that's the deal. And so you see all these crazy builds. And it's funny because, uh, and I mean, if you want to see the, the numbers, like I'll do this some more. But I've seen four or five builds just like this, uh, uh, different engines. I mean, Ford, Chevys, big blocks, small blocks, with the exact same scenario. The camshaft is just way wrong. The motor's way down on power. And it could just be so much better, better with the correct camshaft, but they just chose some crazy stuff that don't make any sense and the motor's down, you know. But again, just keep it in mind. This stuff right here, I mean, you look, look at the difference in, in the, the 46 and 72, right? We can do this a better job than this with this little bitty cam. I mean, this little bitty cam will do way more than this great big old cam will do everywhere. I mean, it, it, it peak and everything below peak. And, and that's just the big deal. You've, you've got to make pressure. You've got to keep the pressure in the cylinder. And if you can't do that, I don't care what kind of super secret snake oil camshaft you got. If all the pressure is blowing out the exhaust pipe and or pushing it back up in the intake, you just, I mean, it's just out to lunch. I mean, it, it will not make power and that's just how it is. So, you know, this is why you got to start looking at these events. This, this stuff is what matters. You know, 116, 118, 108, none of that crap matters. This matters. So, Hopefully that helps and it makes sense. And if you want to see some more of this stuff, say so. And uh, when I got time, I'll try to knock one out every now and again when I'm goofing off. And uh, so thank you again. We appreciate you. Uh, check out the website, powermachineinc.com. See you on the next one.